Demons, same starting lineup we expected. The same they've used in each of their past seven games. Darion Rogers, Anaya Peoples, and Kendall Holmes in the backcourt. Anissa Morrow and Jory Allen up top. So Morrow jumps it up. Coming off two consecutive losses, Northwestern. But played maybe their best game of the season against Michigan for the first 36 minutes. Rogers fakes. Now Morrow will try a three. No good. Lisa Morrow certainly willing to shoot from outside. Has not been so capable out there so far. But she gets her second shot to go. Kaylee Walsh uses her size on the court so well. Six foot three. She's really unstoppable this season. Doubled her point output so far this year. Shooting right over the top of her. It's Morrow. She is now 7 of 16 from beyond the arc as Morrow answers again. DePaul 50% from the field. Northwestern 43%, but they've hit a three. Or two as Morrow again. Sydney Wood, the only starter on the floor for the Wildcats right now. Shaw beats the defense, but Morrow catches her. What a block from Anissa Morrow. Only the 12th block of the season for the 6-1 forward. What a chase down from the backside that time. Treat it differently, and he said they grasp it, but they still play hard no matter what on both sides of the ball. We're seeing a lot of hard play right now as Morrow hits again. She still has not scored with a foot in the paint yet, Casey. That has gone 10 or 11 deep in most games this season. Anissa Morrow finds space again. Brown for Wood. That's a tough entry pass, and Wood wasn't ready for it. Rogers, flyby from Wood, got back into the play. Morrow is blocked from behind, but fouled. For Morrow in this game, knowing it's a big rivalry. Rodgers against Mott. Mismatch. Got Byer. Shaw's there to help. In this Blizzard scheme, there's always help behind you. Morrow faces up. Over Mott scores it. There she is. 29-28 Wildcats. Morrow with Wood all over her. Crossing over. Driving and scoring. What a play. First entrance to the game for Zaria Hurston. Player averages 27 and 13 per game. And Morrow goes one for two. Rogers is open. Don't want that. But she can't quite connect. There's Morrow on the offensive glass, and she earns the whistle. You have to wonder if Coach Bruno had a talk with her at half or if it was just internal. Yeah. You know, a player as good as Morrow is certainly capable of giving, delivering that internal motivation. She's been so aggressive. Not the second half start that Northwestern needs to keep in this. Morrow attacking the basket now. Absolutely, especially given some of the close game situations they've been in this year. Shaw catches on the block, makes her move past Morrow, but left it short. And now Anissa Morrow starting to take over the paint. Long pass ahead, what a find for Allen. Calls a play. She wants the empty pick and roll. Brown looking. Shooting a tough look. Not close. Morrow skying for another board. Her eighth. Morrow could be on her way to her eighth double-double. And she goes coast to coast and nearly had the end one. Fouled on the way up. That's the Anissa Morrow experience right there. Going up for the board. Just dribbling it up and driving right past Courtney Shaw. Fouled by Mott on the way to the rim. 22 points pending these two free throws. There's one. Paul looking for offensive answers. They go to who else? Anissa Morrow. Tough take and finish. Holmes. If I'm DePaul, I'm going right after Kaylee Walsh. They're trying to get it to Morrow. Looking for her. Got it there. Morrow, Walsh can't foul. It's an easy bucket for Anissa Morrow. She made some big plays anyways. Morrow wants a triple. Got it! She has been so good finding her strike. And DePaul sinks back into his own. What is open? Her first three of the game does not go down. DePaul on the verge of really putting this one away. Holmes for Morrow. Gets around Shaw. Scoops it and scores! The Blue Demons feel like they're, they're on the verge of just running away with this one. Morrow, another catch. Against Walsh. Nearly committed her fifth. Morrow scored it instead. Trying to run again. Three on two. Slows it down. Allen wants Morrow. Working on Walsh again. And scoring again. Not much Walsh can do there. Now DePaul got to kill a little bit of time. Working it around. Rogers is open. 
Morrow on the glass. Blocked by Walsh. There's the foul. And that is five. So Anissa Morrow gets another board, her 12th of the game, and sends Kaylee Walsh to the bench all in one swoop. And Northwestern now going to delve deeper into the bench. Alana Goodchild, the Australian native, going to come in, joined by Paige Mott. And Anissa Morrow looking to write an ending to what has been a phenomenal afternoon. Yeah, really smart by her and Coach Bruno and this DePaul team to draw these fouls from Walsh when she's down and out like that. Absolutely. There's not much Walsh could do if she wanted to compete defensively there. Morrow to the line for her sixth pair of free throws today. She makes the first. Standout performances in the career of Anissa Morrow. She's had a couple more this year. 42 against Cleveland State. Yeah, Coach Bruno told us they still have four tough games leading into Christmas. Well, there it is for Morrow. 41. Anissa Morrow for the third time in her young career has crossed the 40-point barrier, and the Blue Demons are really rolling now. What a performance for Anissa Morrow. And after a first half that we were impressed by, Casey, the second half has blown us away. And she takes it away. Going for a career high. 43 for Anissa Morrow. Five steals, another career high to go along with it. Looking on the interior for Ma. Trying to reward her. Morrow clears the board. And she wants to run the break again. Hit ahead for Holmes, who backs it up. Morrow is left alone. Mott was late arriving. It's 45 for Anissa Morrow. You can just see the smile on her face. She knows it. She's so happy with her performance in the second half. 45 points, 13 rebounds, 5 steals. I mean, what else is there to say? 18 made field goals is a career high as well. And finally, the bench will enter for DePaul. What should be an ovation for Anissa Morrow and company. What a performance by the sophomore star for the Blue Demons. See the DePaul fans getting up for this entire team, especially for Morrow. It's another DePaul team that looks like they're playing their best basketball coming into when it matters the most. Making a big statement for the Big East going into the rest of this season. Absolutely. Day will hold it out. And DePaul puts the finishing touches. On an 81-63 victory here at Northwestern, the Blue Demons go to 7-3. Northwestern falls to 4-5, their first time under 500 in five seasons.